G'day all. Uh, so the corner board is, is done. Um, it's upside down, so that's the sky there and that's the backdrop this way. And the track would obviously be up there underneath. Um, and I know what you're thinking. This looks awfully like something from the Jetsons or at least half of it. Um, the reason being is that uh, I wanted a curved backdrop, okay? Um, the problem I see with a convex um, board like this is there is a propensity for people um, to look down the rabbit hole to see where, where it's going or whatever. And the backdrop always ends up coming in on an angle and people end up seeing that angle and then realism is gone. So you'll see here that this curves and then curves back in on itself. And here I've got space there to put a blanking plate in. So the blanking plate will go in there. Um, that's the curve at the back. I put a little bit of spacer in there so that um, it all is self-supporting. So as you can see there, that's a very reversed curve there. So if I put a blank in here, then people that are looking this way will just see the backdrop like that. And it'll be hard for them to judge where it ends. That's the hope behind that. Um, and I'll put a mouse hole. Obviously the track is gonna be sitting up there. Um, in fact, you can see with a, a trace of the track where it should be. Um, I'm gonna let this dry and then paint the, the whole part of this, um, the standard blue and then fade it in. Um, and in these sections here, I'll put the um, baton lights. I've got a collection of baton lights. I did look at whether I should put um, uh, LED strips and I know they would go in, no dramas. But you know what? The baton lights have the perfect light for me at the 4000 range. And to make the layout look consistent, that's what I'm gonna do. So they are linkable, so it's not a problem. And you'd be surprised how strong this, this is the top valance, right? And it is as strong as an ox once it's glued in. Um, I'm quite impressed with it. It's just three mil MDF. Um, and of course the longer sheets make it easier to do because all everything is one piece. Okay, so there's very little stuffing around. Anyway, look, I'll just show you the back again, just for interest sake. Gives you an idea of the construction process going in there. And uh, this is the bottom of it. I'll be cutting some holes in there, obviously, so for, for the joins and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's very strong and I'm very happy. All right, take it easy. Cheers.